Alright, we're going to look at the uh, shape tool real quick. The shape tool can be found right down here. It, by default, is the square tool. Again, with all these other tools, if you click and hold down, you get other tools that you can use here. Uh, we will start with the rectangle tool. Up here, under the fill, the fill is going to be the inside of the shape. The stroke is going to be the outside of the shape. So, for this particular one, we're going to select red for the fill. And this little red line, the slash, means that there's nothing. So there's going to be no stroke. So if we draw this, this is actually just going to draw a red square or a red rectangle. Now if we change the stroke, this is going to be the outside perimeter of the square. So we're going to change that to black. And notice that we have a black line going around it now. If we can change the size of that stroke here. and we can change the size of the box here. So if we want to bump that up to 400. Alright, the next one we're going to look at is the ellipse tool. The ellipse tool is basically, it could be a circle, an oval, whatever. Uh, when you draw this, if you draw it just freehanded like this, you can make it whatever shape you want. If you hit your shift key, it makes a perfect circle. Again, it works just like the other one. Your fill tool is the inside of your circle. The stroke is the outside of your circle. Under the line tool, again, the same thing. The line tool, though, if you're going to draw thin lines, you want to make sure that the fill and the stroke are both the same color. I'm going to delete this ellipse tool. This weight right here is actually the size of your line. So if I draw a line like this, hold my shift key so it's flat, it's a thin line. If I want it a little bit thicker than that, bump that up, draw it again, and you can tell that it gets thicker. The custom shape tool will allow us to pick custom shapes from here and later on we can actually create our own custom shapes. You click on this little arrow right here and you've got several things that you can pick from, an arrow, things like that. Now, if you go up back up to the line tool, if you want to create arrows, you can also create arrows using the line tool. So when we create this arrow, this line right here, we come up to this little wheel, and you can see arrowhead start, stop. So start, it would put an arrowhead on the beginning of it, and it would create it on the end of it. So when we draw it now, it's an arrow. Now notice this little red right in here? That's because of this fill color. So we want to make sure, again, if you draw a line, make sure that you have the fill and the stroke the same, unless you want that to occur. Now let's say that I want to modify the square. I can move the square around. I just simply come down here to that layer and I can select my move tool and I can move it around. But let's say I want to erase something in here. So I click my eraser and notice the, the circle with the slash through it and I click on here and it says it must be rasterized. In order to edit this shape, I have to rasterize it first. So I'm actually going to click backwards because it did it automatically for me. In order to rasterize it, we're going to right-click on the rectangle, and we're going to click Rasterize Layer. Notice that it changed here, and now I have my eraser, and I can do what I need to do with my square inside there.